Well, hi there, and welcome to Click Chat. I haven't done one of these for ages, and um, what triggered me uh, to do it this time is um, it's the wonderful news of the acquisition of CrunchBot and Crunch Data uh, by Click earlier on in the year, announced during um, during SKO. But uh, I'm a great one for acronym bashing, and there are three acronyms that have um, been brought into full view uh, with this acquisition and, and CrunchBot specifically. And that's NLP, NLU, and NLG. And I'm sure if you've been um, watching or listening to any of the information that's been coming out, you would have uh, you would have come across those. So what does it mean? Well, it actually is really quite simple. And you can equate um, all three of those acronyms to um, to what your, your brain does. Now, a crunch bot is something that allows you to talk to a computer and to get an answer back. And um, the three acronyms that we're talking about, let's take the first one. Let's take NLP, Natural Language Processing. So this is just a term that is used to describe a machine's ability to ingest what is said to it, to break it down, comprehend its meaning, determine appropriate action, and respond back in a language the user will understand exactly the same as your, your brain does. There are specific areas in your brain that process um, natural language. I'm not going to go into them in, in any detail now. We don't want to muddy the waters. So that's what NLP does. So that takes your language, processes it, and uh, comprehends its meaning. And then we have natural language understanding. Now, this actually is a subset of NLP, and it deals with a much narrower but equally important facet of how to best handle unstructured inputs and then convert them into a form that a machine can understand. Okay, Again, taking speech into the brain is exactly what we do every day. Um, it's just a natural process, so we want to understand. Now, while humans are able to effortlessly handle mispronunciations, swap words, contractions, colloquialisms, and other quirks, machines are less adept at handling those. So they need to um, be able to take that and, and understand exactly what you're saying um, in, a, in a language that we, um, we communicate with. And then finally, NLG, Natural Language Generation. And this is just what happens when a computer writes languages. Um, so it turns that structured data into text. So we have NLP. That process is what you're saying to it. Understanding is how he understands what you're saying. And then generation um, is when it writes a language. So it's actually um, generating the language back to you. So hopefully three acronyms um, that have been put to bed, NLP, NLU and NLG. There is obviously much more um, involved in this and there's plenty of information available to you on, on Confluence. Uh, but hopefully that'll, um, that'll bash those acronyms and... Um, and that'll work. If you want anything else or you would like to learn more, then please do uh, let me know. So this is John Sands. This is a click chat. Thank you for listening.